Hey everybody, iHeartMovies here, and welcome back to Let's Replay Lunar 2 Eternal Blue Complete. In our last episode, we were introduced to the Grand World of Lunar, and made our way off to the East Desert Pass after finding, finding the right dragon jewel in the um, dragon ruins over there. Now I met up with Lord Leo last episode, and in between episodes I went ahead and cleared out most of the enemies around here, except for one battle, and you guys will see why momentarily. But I want to go ahead and explore and find some treasure for a free herb. Awesome. I might need to use one of those, actually, but not right now. We'll wait a little bit. Yeah, this area, it's, of course, very, very small. It's only a couple of screens. Very, very straightforward, so you won't get lost here at all. But let's see, let's make our way down over here. And there should be one more battle over here. Now, this one I do want to show off for a very specific reason. And uh, while cleaning these guys out um, between episodes, I got a level, actually. got up to level 6 there, so... Nice boost to all my stats there and all that. I like the little formation they got there going there. It's like they're in unison. It's kind of weird, but kind of funny too, actually. But alas, you are only Dung Beetles, and thus are killed by my little poker thingy. Ow! Okay, jeez, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to insult you or anything. Gah! Anyway, with that, we get to level 7! And learn the mighty post sword attack. Hero hops high and hits hard. We will be using that a couple hundred times in this game. I am not kidding when I say that. This is Hero's main attack for a very large portion of the game. It does a ton of damage to enemies and bosses. It will be his mainstay for a long time. So get used to Hero saying, Dodge this! So that's what he says every time he uses post sword. <laughs> Just a heads up there. Anyway, we made our way through that, and oh, guess Leo's already here. Oh, he was saying he was gonna stop by over here before, so no, didn't mean to go go inside the house yet. I actually wanted to explore the ship first. It's funny, the thing seems so huge on the world map and all that, but now it's so small. Hi. Um, then why do you have it so open to get on? Oh, okay. Yeah, we're going, we're going, relax. Or, no, can I drive? Here, can you drive? Are you old enough? Probably not. <laughs> Freaking thrill seekers, really? Really? You call it us ugly? Well, that's, that's really rude, actually. Oh, wow, that's, that would be a pretty awesome birthday present. Again, can I have one? The White Dragon Cannon? Ooh! It's all but invincible, so they're everything out there besides invincible, pretty much. Ferris of the Fair. Is this a slight reference to, um, Snow White? Maybe? Soft curve of her hips. Whoa! Br uh, uh, that, uh, ton slip. You were gonna say something there, weren't you? I know what you were gonna say. And I doubt he'd give it to the lights of you. Well, the key word being doubt, you never know for sure. But who would harm our little world of Lunar? Who? Who? Whoever? Who? Or is that whomever? I don't know. Let's go ahead and leave. And let's see what's going on back at home. Got a little shack here. And happy town music! Go and heal up here. Let's look around. Look around a little bit while we're here. Weekly dishwashing duty. Blue, silver, and white days for Gwen. Gold, green, and black for Hero. And of course, Ruby has red days. That's kind of weird how they go by colors for days, not just Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. But they might not have them actually. I don't know. Anyway, what's going on in here? The blue spire. Oh. sounds pretty mysterious. Awful. <laughs> Gross. Oh? This destroyer doesn't sound all that friendly. So there's Ba and Pa. What else is that? Da? Wa? Za? Ya? I don't know. Anyway. North of the Salian Desert. 
sealed? With what, I wonder? Huh. Pretty interesting. Um, hi, Leo. And yeah, of course, as we all know, RPG characters have only one parent. That's just how it works. That's a reference to something. That's a reference to something, I know it. I don't know what it is, but it is. Yeah, this game makes a lot of pop culture references, just a heads up, and they're pretty damn hilarious. <laughs> We're always late. Yeah, Hero is, uh, fashionably late all the time. The party's at 8 o'clock, he's there at 8.01. Yeah, Hero's a badass. How does one break the seal? Uh... Can we use a lifeline? That's on the hunch. Well, it could have been the right hunch. You never know. I have a guilty look on your face. Yeah, it's not I always look. Don't worry about it. Stay away from the dragon ruins. Hi, Leo. The commodity to... What, pray tell? Oh! Okay, we can leave our comfy life here and go on a uh, trip of luxury. Okay, that actually sounds pretty damn fun. Although, yeah... I mean, if you pay good money, we could. Also, did you at least knock on the door? Or by door, I mean the sheets out front. I mean, it's not really a door, but you could at least knock or something. It's kind of rude to just barge into someone's house. Dick. Anyway... So, now what? Arrogant Fop. Must be uh, an olden term or something. Because I've never heard of that besides in this game. And, well, nowhere else, really. Yeah, that destroyer kind of worries me. Also, look at Gwen's hat. Is that not a cake? Look, you can see the black part there? That's the cake. The green's frosting. It's a cake hat! I'm telling you, it is! I don't like the smell of it. Oh, that's just you. There's no shower here. <laughs> Gross. Whoa. Whoa, what's going on? At the... at the... what? It's Matlock! He lives! May you rest in peace. I heard about that. Hero, they brought back Jag! I used to love the show in the 40s! Or it could just be a blue light. That's kinda loud. Oh yeah, if the last episode was a little loud, I apologize. Um, I'm trying to balance that out. Although, just turn down your speakers if it's too loud. But I will work on it, so just a, just a heads up. Whoa. That was cool. But what was it? Hmm. Ponder. Uh oh, Spadudios. Um. Well, both options seem favorable. Come on, big money. Doesn't matter what answer you choose here, by the way, or what question you choose to ask. It really doesn't. Uh, yeah, that's... that's right. Oh, okay. Get a, uh, a weapon. Awesome. We can use an uh, upgrade from our dagger anyhow, so... Yeah, the Dragon Ruins was a little bit... Crazy? Hectic? Crazy hectic? Something like that, yes. Okay. Let's go ahead and find that weapon. If I didn't go down the ladder. Ladders are such trolls in RPGs. Oh, here it is. Get the ancient dagger. It's old, but it might it might be old, but it's sharp. Alright, let's equip that. There's attack boost there by three. And then our agility and speed by two. Awesome. Let's see, yeah, there's we have some books around here too that give us some more backstory 
along the, about the um, the world of Lunar, how it was in the present, how it was back then as well. So yeah, this game is the sequel, kind of air quotes, to Silver Star Story Complete. Although in storyline purposes, this takes place 1,000 years after Silver Star Story Complete. And yes, I am going to LP that as well. I've said that before, and I, I will LP that. A few hundred years. Oh, that's quite a long time. Turning to the heavens. Yeah, we know that. Anything else? Huh. Well, the thing has been around for hundreds of years anyhow. Ah. There you go. Yeah, they were saying that before. The mysterious voice in the intro was talking about that. How Athena led the humans to the uh, to Lunar after the Blue Star became inhabitable. Inhabitable. Yes, something like that. Rich tapestry of myth and lore. That's a cool sentence. Or sentence fragment. What a strange sadness. Well, isn't it... Well, it's completely empty, so I would imagine it... The sense of emptiness would stir up feelings of sadness. Oh, how sweet. Okay, well, that's enough of that there. Let's go ahead and uh, go talk to the wind. Get our weapon equipped, so we are good to go. The left opal jewel, alrighty. And yeah, we're one step ahead of ya. Runes I'd say, what? Alrighty, adventure! Alright, adventure time! So I'm gonna go ahead and move here out there to the front and keep wind way far there in the back because he is squishy. So. Are those defenses on par with heroes? Um, this, um, he's still pretty fragile. He comes with a mace and adventurer's clothes, which we cannot remove, by the way. Notice how the screen's kind of darkened down here. Yeah, we can't change the stuff, change the stuff ever. But he does come with heal litany and call litany, which are healing spells, which will be quite handy for us. Let's go ahead and get going. Off to our next grand adventure. Yeah, we're fully healed. Yep. Got items and all that. Alrighty, we're good to go! Hey, they're saying it's to the north of the desert, so let's go ahead and make our way up there. Not that, it's, not that there's a whole lot else we can go anyway. Also, hi. Couldn't park any closer? I guess not. Alrighty, the Blue Spire. Yeah, this is our first real dungeon of the game. See, this will be a pretty fun one. Whoa. Well, yeah, they kinda are. Only the spire is threatened. Remember that for later. Yeah, let's just not say a word. It says those things will... Well, these things can kill you! If tempted. That's a creepy dragon head, too. Looks badass, though. Alright, perfect fit. But... Something seems kinda off, doesn't it? Yeah... Yeah... Maybe... Maybe... Maybe it's her fur! Yeah! Or the right sapphire jewel can go in there. Oh my god! Er my god! It erpened! Yeah, derp. No, no, why would we find a dragon jewel in the dragon ruins? That's crazy talk. That's not crazy talk! This is crazy talk! Blah 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 blah! <laughs> wow, Spongebob references out the ass today, and I do not care. Although, actually, I do care, because Spongebob's awesome. Not the new ones. Those ones suck and are terrible and should die. The old ones, however, are wonderful and hilarious. Like Nappa. You will quote everything he says. Anyway. Ooh, creepy music here. Love the dungeon theme. Gives you a sense of eeriness, spookiness, mysteriousnessnessness. I love it. Anyway, new enemies here: slimes and the brain bender. We want to go after the uh, brain bender first. Let's have Hero use post sword on it, and then have Wind defend for right now. Ow! Dodge use tail whip. It was actually effective. Yeah, post sword will one shot those things easily enough. There, if he wants to, on post sword can one shot all of the enemies in this place right now. 
so if you want to go that route, you can, but it's better just to stuck serve your MP and do you know, physical attacks there. You just have here and win focus, focus on one thing at a time, and you'll be good to go. Also helps that out having a uh, crit critical hit, so that helps a lot there. Yeah, these guys are a little step up from where we find them before. So don't need, need to stay on your toes there. Don't uh, need to do some more healing in before. Gotta stay on top of things there. But still, the battles are fairly straightforward now anyway, so... You know these buttons on the floor over here? Let's see what they do. I want to try to avoid the enemies here for right now. Um, I will show off all the new, eno new enemies around here when I can, and then I will go ahead and uh, clear them all off off-camera. Either um, in the middle of the episode, just do my uh, my jump cut transition thing, or do it between episodes, something like that. And ooh, an angel's tear. Those are pretty valuable for right now. They restore a fainted friend. Um, they restore, I believe, is half of your HP. So hopefully no one will be dying anytime soon. I hope not anyway. But if someone is at accidents happen, well, they happen, and you can revive someone. Anyway, hit those three buttons over there, and make our bridge up over here. But we can't get past that fence. And why does that mummy screech? It seems really annoying. I want to avoid you. And they've got a new enemy up here that screeches. Again, don't know why. But we have Bandage Boys and the Mummy. The Mummy is the blue one back there. Uh, what we want to do for a real easy win is um, have Hero use Post Sword on the Mummy. And it will one shot him and one shot the rest of the group. Very quick, very painless, very, very easy. Now I want to make my way back upstairs here. And then I'll go and clear these guys off camera, then we'll continue exploring the Blue Spire for next time on Let's Replay Lunar 2 Eternal Blue Complete. This has been IR Movie signing off, guys. Have a nice day, and thank you for watching.